Yeah, I think that's a, a, a normal problem for a lot of marketeers. They have their marketing glasses on and they create, as I said, banners and uh, use stock images and whatever they have. Um, but seeing it from the view of a customer and what they think about your brand, about your cust um, your, your products and your services is a complete different angle. And that's where user-generated content helps with. Now, how can you facilitate whatever comes back from your customers or how can you motivate it maybe as a first step um, customers to generate content for you? For sure. Maybe another important distinction um, in terms of, you know, content for products. The reason why, well, user generated content not only performs better, but it's also a lot cheaper. And we'll talk about the process. But we recently had a story with one of our clients who who paid, I think, $20,000 to get these super polished videos from like a film studios with actors and everything. And then they run that on ads and nothing happened like zero, you know, so they literally spend 20 K, you know, and it looks nice. It feels nice, but it's like, it's, it's not what works. Right. So the, with user generated content, there's essentially, let's say two things. One is where you find the creators and how much you pay them. And the other is how do you create the strategy and the briefs for them. These two are both very important. So if we break this down, um, first, where you find the creators. Um, another important point here is we call them creators, not influencers, right? The, the important thing to understand here is that influencers will charge you a lot to do any sort of videos or, or promotional content for you. They are not just selling the content, they're also selling the quote unquote reach, right? They have a big following. So you hope to get clicks from them. In most cases, the influencer stuff is not really working very well. So, you know, you just spend a lot of money and not get a lot of ROI. There are exceptions. So we primarily do not want, you know, or you, if you get started with this, you don't want influencer, you want creators. Um, how to find them? There's a bunch of platforms. B-roll is one, and there's like a bunch of others online. You could also go into Fiverr, Upwork, and any sorts of things like that. The goal is to not just find people that like your products. That could also be something, you know, you could email your list and find some customers who are really happy. But what we prefer to do is find creators who have actual experience, right? If you go on B-roll, there's people have ratings, right? It's like looking for a restaurant on Google Maps, right? You see the creators, mm -hmm. you see how, you know, other people who gave them work before rated them, et cetera. Um, plus you can see things about them, their portfolio, blah, blah, blah. And then essentially you would just negotiate the fee for them. This could be a few hundred dollars. It could be less. It could be more depending on what you need. And you could get quite a lot of content from them. And then it's up to you to edit it in the best way possible. So that's one, but I, I don't also want to rant, you know, there's the step two and whatever, but, um, how, how is this so far, Klaus? Are we talking about the right sort of things? 